Hello everyone, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom with me, Lavinia, for your March 14th to 20th, 2016 reading. If you are new to my channel, thank you for being here. I want to thank you for your loyal support, knowing that I am not your regular reader. And by using my virtual decks as my divination tool, this enables me to clearly show that Spirit is here, waiting to assist and provide guidance and assistance when called upon. For those of you who embrace the message and my connection to Spirit, my sincere love and gratitude to you continue to like share and subscribe and show your love for a personal reading with me visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.webly.com book and purchase your readings email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com on the 16th jupiter the planet of abundance forms a trine with Pluto, the planet of transformation. Transformation and life challenges. This is a strong influence for business, increased influence, faith and insight. The desire for more personal significance can lead us to give more of ourselves or motivate us to ambitiously pursue professional and personal goals. The most positive aspect of this transit is taking steps to better ourselves. We might solve long-standing problems or capitalize upon a previously hidden resource due to a strong desire for success. This week's reading layout is a message from the higher self, energy of the week, message from the angels, and a message from the love oracle. And the decks that I'll be using is the love oracle, visionary I Ching, angel tarot, and formations deck. So stay tuned, guys. Scorpio, thank you and welcome. Hope you are ready for another amazing week this week. And let's hear what your higher self would like you to know for this week. Um, the energy from your higher self for Scorpio. The number four, heart chakra, heart healing. To establish healthy relationships with others, you have to completely love yourself. Open your heart and let, let love flow unconditionally. So, and Spirit is saying, in order for um, the ability to love stems from your ability to love yourself. And if you are unable to love yourself, you will be unable to give or receive this energy in return. So this week, pay special attention to you. Okay, do nice things for yourself. Surround yourself with beauty. Place yourself in situations and around people who support your growth at this point in time. Message from the visionary I Ching, which depicts the energy of the week. Energy of the week for you, Scorpio. The number 12, stand still. Okay, sky above, earth below. You're inspired. However, you are asked to um, remain grounded. You see this boulder is on the hill, but it's not It's not rolling. It's going nowhere. So although you're inspire, inspired this week, you're being asked to remain grounded. Don't be flighty in a state of standstill or decline confusion and disorder come along inferior forces are on the rise when the powers of clarity and creativity are on the decline in such times the wise take shelter in their own integrity and quietly remain faithful to their principles retreat from public activities and common exchanges until the time favors direct action during periods of stagnation inferior elements in society come to the forefront when the inmates are overrunning at the asylum summon up your fortitude hide your worth and withdraw concentrate on your personal affairs with quiet dignity even if that means fortifying short-term rewards okay so Although you inspired, you're being asked to stand still. Proper times for taking action this week. Okay, and based on your what you're doing, where you're at at this point in time. So if you have a nine to five and you have to go to work, go to work. Message from the angels for you for this week, Scorpio. Message 
message from the angels. And we have awareness. Okay, awareness. And when I see this image, I'm feeling like um, some of you guys are not aware that you're blocking off your heart, you're, you're closing your heart, and you're not being open and receiving to what your team has in store for you. There is not a head and a heart connection. It's either um, your head, uh, you're just listening to the chatter of your brain. Do you pray to God? Do you ask your, the universe, would you like to know your options? Do you ask God for the knowledge of who you really are? Would you like to know your potentials? So um, Spirit is saying that you're um, not opening yourself and being willing to transform, transform and um, open yourself to receiving the answers and the options. Some of you are feeling stuck and a little bit hopeless and spirit wants you to really open your heart come out from this energy what kind of energy space and consciousness can i be so i can become aware of who i really am what are my options how can i use the divine options and potential at my disposal for myself and others so opening yourself up to receiving the answers your team is there but open your heart and be more willing message from the heart for you message from the heart live your dreams with total passion so again open your heart to receiving the messages from your team the guidance that will take you where you need to go be open don't close off your heart and um to open up your heart and to clearly hear you are asked to resort to stillness and meditation this week so that way the divine can take away what's blocking you from reaching your center this week head and heart connection yeah so let me know how those messages resonated with you for the week don't forget to like share and subscribe like our facebook page check us out on facebook for our daily reveal and for personal reading with me check out the links in the description box below love you guys